All right, hey everybody, what's up YouTube? It's Josh here again, back in the garage. Today we're not working on the motorcycle though. We're not gonna be working on the MT-09. Instead, it's gonna be my son's 2000 Grand Cherokee who's got an AC problem. So he had a problem a few weeks back and actually a couple of months ago now that you turn it on and it would work, everything would blow just fine. And then you would turn around and all of a sudden you turn on and you get nothing. So we looked it up and it looks like it's the uh, control motor resistor pack so we got one from crown automotive over here on the bench we're going to open up the box here take a look at it but it's a control module and apparently what happens is the um the wires get melted i don't know why maybe it overheats or something but when they overheat then the control unit doesn't work any longer so we're gonna tear this box open here and pull out there's a wiring harness here that replaces part of the system and then here's the actual blower motor controller that's in this plastic here. So um, it's up under the, uh, I'll get a better picture of this in a minute, but it's up under the dash where the glove compartment is. So um, these pins in here that you can see on the front here, apparently the harness melts in there and it doesn't make a good connection. And that causes the, it causes the AC not to go on properly. So and then this wiring harness here, there's a section up in the uh, under the dash where this other end gets connected to that you can't reach. So you're supposed to uh, cut those wires off and then replace it with these wires and then get it connected here. So this is for the other end that actually plugs into here. So we're going to uh, crawl ourselves up underneath the dash and uh, get this cleaned up. All right, guys, so we're going to try to show you where that module is under here. You can see it with the light here this is that module we're going to be taking out so i'm going to grab a screwdriver and uh, loosen the two screws up on either side here you can see there's one here and one on the other side pull the wires out and then see what we're dealing with here so i'm um, going to be a little hard to film that in there because it's so tight down in there but i'm going to crawl up in there and get that out and we'll get some more footage All right, guys, so here's the Here's the unit I just took out of there, and you can see here, hopefully you can see this on the camera here, that the, on the side here, you can see that that's all melted and deformed and everything like that. So that's what's causing our problem right there. So what we're gonna do is, you can see how the new one is nice and brand new here. So we're gonna recreate this connector um, and then wire it up under there with new wires and stuff and plug the new module in and get to work on it. So. I'm going to do some work on that and we'll get back to you. All right, so we're able to pull that old connector out and you can see how it's all melted and, and screwed up on here. Uh, my son's actually in the garage with me too, so you might hear his voice in the background asking questions, but I showed him how this is all melted in here and that's really what caused the problem. So they give you uh, Crown Automotive, gives us you know some new connectors and some new wires to deal with here. Um, and we have a new, a new plug in, so we're going to try to make sure that we keep it um, and match it up. It's got heat shrink. It's got pins. It's got everything you need basically to Recreate this plug so that when we put when we connect it back up underneath we get it wired correctly and everything like that So we're gonna mark the wires um, You know, maybe maybe I'll mark them one two and three or something like that So we know which one is the yellow stripe which one was the red and which one was the black when we reconnect it up underneath And then we'll uh, go from there. We'll drag the soldering gun out there and uh, solder those connections and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna work on that for a little bit. Let the camera run. If there's any good footage there, guys, we'll, uh, we'll insert it here in the video. Thank you. 
guys so that should have the the new harness built from this end at least where it's ready to go back into the uh, into the car so we might shorten these wires a little bit but I may leave them a little longer to make it a little easier to plug stuff in and then um, I got to go in and cut the one the one that we cut off from here this one here that was you know hardwired here so we're gonna cut these wires too and pin these together and uh, make a hard connection there. I don't know if I can reach this connector up underneath the dash. We're going to try to. If I can, then we'll pull it out. We'll plug this one in. But if I can't, then I'll splice these two. And then uh, we'll splice these in. And we should have a, you know, we should be able to plug this module in. And then uh, hopefully turn the car on and get some AC. But we'll, uh, we're going to go work under the dash a little bit there and see if we can figure that out. All right, guys. So we're back up under the dash here, right? And those other red and black wires were running up in here. Let me see if I can adjust the lights so you guys can see. But they ran back up in here, way up in there, and I couldn't find where they were. So I was like, oh man, I gotta reach up there. Well, my son, the genius, looked around and sure enough, right here in the front next to the blower motor, there's the same two red and black wires and sure enough, the connector's right there. So they just happened to run it up and down, up behind that area there, but we could just push it across this way a little bit run it right in front here and let the wires be there like who cares just tuck them up out of the way and wrap them up so he uh he found the connector right here so gonna save us the uh, effort of having to splice these wires too so the only ones we got to splice are the other three so uh kudos to my son for taking a look you know hey i guess i guess i am teaching him a little something about cars here right so we're gonna work on these other wires here i'll see if i can set the camera up it's tough to see under here but we're gonna get these other wires uh cut out and spliced and uh drag the soldering gun out of here and stuff like that to splice them up and then we'll go from there. Yeah, but that was a good good find on that one, Josh. You just saved us work. So, yeah. So like we could just honestly just tire for a little electrical tape and stick it Oh yeah, we'll be good. <laughs> hey, give me a give me my uh, knife off the bench there. Okay yeah, guys, we're just gonna get these wires. You know, it's hard to see here, but we're gonna... No, I am. I'm gonna get a shot here. So here's the wires, guys, that we're gonna clean up right now. And uh, just going to try to grab the knife here and get some of this tape off and peel them back a little bit. So we have some to have something to work with here on these. So we can get them stripped and and uh, and soldered in here. And then we'll uh, we'll tie up the rest of the stuff here. So all right. So I'll go get my my side cutters and strip those and get them spliced in and actually guys after and looking at all of this in here these wires and the carpet and everything like that i'm willing to bet i can just do a buck connector and uh some heat shrinks wrap them up and do some heat shrink it'll probably be just as good so i think that's the route we're going to go here so we'll just do a good good twist wrap them up a heat shrink them and then we'll try it and see if that fixes our problem here with those wires so i know i should be soldering them but i bet you i can wrap those up good enough with some heat shrink and go from there so let's try that all right guys so we're gonna try to strip these wires back here it's hard to see in here with the everything that's going on but let's see if you guys can get a view of this here strip these back a little bit All right, guys, so what I'm doing now, guys, is I'm just, I have the old plug here and I'm lining it up with the new plug 
so that I know which one was the red and which one was the black. The blue is easy, that's the one in the middle, so that's that's an easy one to make the connection. Now make those connections, grab the heat gun, melt that heat shrink, and then uh, we'll plug the module in and hopefully we'll uh, have some AC running in this car. Uh, so I'm gonna put the camera where I can see, maybe get an angle of that and we'll keep working. Alright guys, we're going to grab some electrical tape and wrap that up and then we should be good to go. Alright guys, you can see here I wrapped it, got it all wrapped up with some electrical tape here to neaten it up a little bit. Probably could have went a little shorter with the wires, but you know when you're working on these tight spaces and stuff like that, you don't mind having a little extra here, so... Hopefully we get this module plugged in now, and before we screw it back up in the hole there, we'll turn it on and see if that AC fires up. Maybe we'll get lucky. See me back in a second. I got the module back here now. We're underneath here again trying to see everything. So I'm going to plug, just plug it in loosely here, not rut wires or anything, and we'll see if we can get some AC. So go back to that socket that we found over here on the blower motor. Get that plugged in. That's plugged in. Hopefully this doesn't need to be grounded there, but we'll find out in a minute. And then we're getting the making the, the new connector plugged back in here. Okay, that's plugged in and locked in place. All right, so we're just gonna leave. We're gonna leave the module like this for a minute. I'm gonna go connect that negative side of that battery, and then uh, we'll see if we get some AC. Let's find out. All right, moment of truth here, guys. Gotta turn it. Oh, hold on. We gotta make a better connection on the negative side of the battery. Yeah, all right, guys. Take two here. We got the negative connector on there good now, so he's gonna start the car up, and we're gonna see what happens here. All right, so we're gonna turn this all the way over to vent here, fan on high, but I don't feel, I don't hear any AC running. So still doing the same problem it was doing before. But hold on, it is trying to adjust the. I'm watching the actuators and stuff adjust here, so it might just take a minute to kick in here. So we we'll give it a minute and see if it does anything. So yeah, I'm not quite sure here, guys. So everything's connected down there now. My only thought is that that has to be grounded uh, and screwed back into place. So we'll uh, we're going to disconnect that negative side of the battery, get this thing screwed in place, and then we'll try it again. All right, guys, so sweating our butts off here in South Florida trying to get this thing done. We changed out that blower motor resistor and uh, still getting a similar scenario. So our next bet is that, I mean, it definitely needed to be changed, guys. You could see that the old one was, you know, it's melted and, and destroyed here. So this one definitely needed to be changed out. So I'm not worried about that. I spent the money on the part, but we're going to... Uh, we're going to pull the blower motor out now and see if that fan's just not spinning and that might be part of what's going on here. So, spend a few minutes doing that and let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I'm not sure if you can see it enough, but that's the blower motor here and there's a, it's a screw behind this wire there. There's one there and there's one towards the back there. That I think they're like T20s or T15s or T25s. I'm going to find out in a minute here, but I'm going to try to pull those out, drop this blower motor down and uh, check to see if maybe that's our problem. So work on that for a bit here now so not sure if i'm going to get any good footage trying to take this out but we'll uh we'll leave the camera running anyways here and see if you guys can see any of the any of the work here trying to get the uh trying to get that motor out so first gotta figure out which screwdriver it even is so let's see all right so lucky guys I picked up whatever I picked up is the right size right away here so I'll tell you in a second which one I'm using here it looks like it's a uh, it's a t20 guys or it's got a if you can see it on the camera here guys it's got a hex on it too but the t20 is a little easier to sneak up in there so then I try to get this lower motor out and see if we put some power to it and see if that's uh, that's our issue or not here so um, like I said the motor resistor definitely the 
resistor definitely had to be changed out because it was uh you could tell it was uh shot so i'm gonna you know not upset that i spent the money on the parts not like we wasted it so pull this motor out here and see if that's our culprit if this ain't it then i don't know what it is guys so is holding it up in there and I got the screws out so it's loose so now the question is it's hung up on the wires on this side here looks like so there we go all right we got the motor out so let's go put some power to it and see if we can figure out if this is the problem or not be back in a little bit guys All right, guys, so we ran to the parts store because we found that we might have a dead fuse here. So we tested the old one, got a new one here. We're going to install that. And then, you know, press it back down in there. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to reconnect the battery here. We're going to see if that, uh, see that blower motor turns now. So I'm just going to plug it in before I mount it all back in there. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So be back in a minute. All right, guys, so we got the new fuse put in. Son's getting in the car now. He's going to start it up, and then we're going to turn the fan on and see if we uh, if it blows. So, good. All right, so he just turned it on. And look at that. The fan is blowing now, guys. So the fuse is shot. It's, got, it's changing speeds. It feels like it's blowing good. So we're going to get this mounted back in there, and we'll be uh, ready to go. So uh, at least we found the problem. Like I said, definitely had to do both pieces. Definitely had to do that fuse. And, uh, and uh, also the, uh, the, the resistor up underneath there. So get this fan mounted back up and he'll have AC again. All right, guys, we got it all back together now. It was not easy, um, but we still got the dash apart a little bit down here. But um, since we just tried it and that blower motor spun, we're pretty confident now when we turn this on, we're gonna get some AC. So Josh is gonna fire it up there and we're gonna see what happens. And let's get our hands by the vents here. And Yep, there we go. We got AC. We got AC blowing out of the vents again, so we're in good shape now, guys. So now for the summer here down in South Florida, he'll have some uh, cool air blowing in the car. Um, I actually wonder if the fuse or that motor or something's getting weak because it feels like it's blowing just a little harder than it did. But uh, either way, guys, if you have this problem, check that resistor under there. Check the uh, the fuse that's under the dash or the blower motor, and uh, go from there. So. Uh, as you can see guys i'm drenched here in sweat uh that was not an easy one um you know especially here in south Florida, it's a little warm out today but hey we got ac back in the car and that's the most important thing especially here in florida you know i want to keep cars with ac running good so uh until the next one guys we'll catch you on the other side